16th of July 2019, Sergey Baklakov continue my video blog. And uh, today, together with my wife, Albina, with my daughter, Victoria, my wife's cousin, Leana, and her daughter, Anna, we are going uh, in uh, 100 kilometers from Ufa, Russia, to the Shekhan Mountains. Let's go! getting a gas number 92 the price is 46 rubles per liter it's 73 cents per liter or 262 per American gallon hi I already would love to get back to St. Petersburg but still staying here because Albina, my wife, wants to stay some longer. She's saying, you know, now we'll get back to St. Petersburg and we'll never get back for another year. So staying here some longer. About 40 kilometers yet until Taratau Shikhan, but we already see that. Shikhan Taratau. Yeah. The car before us, this is AK, Russian car. They used to produce it at Kamas factory. Yes, Kamas making a huge tracks, but also one of the smallest cars ever. One of the most unique Russian mountains, uh, Shikhan, called Teratau. Once it is located in the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia, which is also historically the land of Bashkir people, Teratau consisted of two Bashkir words. Tura, what means fortress, and Tau, what means mountain. So, fortress, mountain. In the medieval times, there was the fortress of Bashkir Khan who controlled the area. Uh, Taratau is not just a single Shikhan, but it is a part of a whole ensemble of uh, three Shikhan mountains located not far from each other. And these Shikhan mountains, nowadays selected to the short list of the miracles of Russia. The height of uh, Taratau is 280 meters above the ground. Uh, Taratau was based 230 million million uh, years ago and it was a reef of the tropical sea. It's, it's really hard nowadays to believe here was the sea, yet a tropical sea, because nowadays the climate is definitely changed, not a tropical at all, much colder. The floor of uh, Shikhan Taratau includes over 400 kinds of plants, 25 of them are in the red books uh, of the plants, uh, that means they are very rare and uh, under the threats of extinction. Yet in uh, USSR times, Tratau and two other Shikhans uh, got to the list of the uh, geological monuments of all Soviet meaning. Uh, that's like highest meaning, the federal meaning. Because, you know, Tratau represents a huge value for geological researchers, as it helps to understand the uh, tectonic uh, shifts in the late Paleozoic era. It's one of the most accessible former reefs for detailed research and analysis. If we talk about more modern history, like medieval times, the history of uh, Taratau connected with the history of Bashkir people. Back in those days, as I already said, on the top of Taratau was the fortress of Bashkir Khan. There's many evidences of this in different chronicles. And uh, Bashkir people considered and still consider uh, this 
mountain as a holy mountain. There's the legend that uh, there was the tradition of the residents of uh, nearby villages to make a collective procession around the mountain for their wishes to come through. Uh, the warriors were climbing on the mountain and uh, were praying, were asking for a victory in their battles. Barren women were asking for children and so. But uh, what amazes me most of all these days is uh, uh, that if to believe uh, the mountains are tectonic shifts of the lands and you can more or less uh, imagine imagine it to yourself uh, how the uh, tectonic shifts were creating many kilometers of the mountains uh, then here i'm not really sure what made it to create just uh, such uh, you know relatively small mountains like from nowhere after all nowadays taratau is a very great location for just a one day trip family trip the beautiful nature you know some physical activity climbing the mountain and uh, breathtaking views uh, from the top free parking and the entrance for about 40 minutes slowly with several steps we've got to the top of uh, Taratau Shihan mountain pretty beautiful shiny hot day the girls are already having a uh, selfie time there and it's easy to understand why because it's really pretty amazing from the ground to the top is about 400 meters because you know here is such an angle and because of this the path increased and uh, a little more than the height of the mountain We were hanging out for about two hours here because when we got to the top of the mountain we were a little bit tired so oh, <laughs> so we're relaxed and uh, we're drinking water by the way never forget uh, the water in the places like this or you can get uh, dehydrated then we were just enjoying the time and now we go downstairs we go downstairs and uh, getting back to Ufa. Hope you enjoyed this video. This another insight into the uh, real Russian land. Comment, like, subscribe and see you.